hey guys welcome back to a brand new vlog so we're currently on our way up to Whistler for our first post lockdown trip and I am so so excited about the next few days and so BC is now in phase three which means that we're able to get out of Vancouver and explore the province and I can't tell you how happy I am our last trip was in February I think it was yeah February um, and we went to Washington so it's been quite some time but I'm really excited to get outdoors the weather is absolutely beautiful right now and we're gonna do some hiking and we're gonna explore some of the lakes and do some sunsets I'm staying at the Fairmont which I'm sure you know I love it's really beautiful there and I think things will be slightly different with COVID because obviously lots of precautions are still in place and so I'll show you what that's like because I know a lot of people are a little bit nervous about traveling quite rightly so and so it'll be interesting to kind of see how things are different but yeah I'm very very excited staying in the one bedroom mountain view corner suite and we've never stayed in a suite like this before it's really really gorgeous so there are a few procedures actually when we checked in so as soon as we checked in they took our temperature oh, what's this oh no that's oh, i thought they were masks there oh the fresh remote um so they did take our temperature when we got here so there's like a little like wellness check-in station um and you just like you just look into this little uh, camera and it somehow takes your temperature and then when we checked in they kind of explained all the procedures and apparently there is kind of like a little um covid safety kit in the room i don't know i don't know where I it is it. so in the wellness kit we have a couple of masks we also have some hand sanitizer as well as a couple of disposable gloves so they said to us that um it's optional whether we want to wear the masks or not, it's up to us. Um, but all of the staff members are wearing masks for everyone's safety. So it's really good that they provide that. And they also basically leave like a two day rest period before you check in. So it means that nobody stayed in your room for the two days prior, um, just in case of you know any kind of contamination, which is also great. So we're taking lots and lots of precautions. This is actually incredible. And there's also a closet behind, and the first thing I like to do when we get to any hotel is unpack, even if we're staying for two days. It looks so different in the summer, because we've actually stayed here in spring, autumn, and winter, but never summer. So it looks a lot different. Oh, are you tucking in already? Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. <are> you okay. <laughs> That's what happens when you get greedy. So I think I might have forgot to mention, uh, but we are staying at the Fairmont Chateau Whistler. I don't, I don't even think I said that. Um, but we are partnering with them for our stay. We stayed here maybe about six times over the last few years, and it is my number one place to stay in Whistler. We love the brand. Um, you might remember we stayed at the Fairmont in Banff last summer when we did our road trip, but it's just such a beautiful place to stay they treat you so so well just like absolute vip so it's always a really really lovely experience and the hotel is beautiful and the decor is really nice as well we're gonna do a few photos i think and just kind of get that done and then we can head out and explore the sun is like falling behind the mountains a bit but the sunset should be lovely tonight Good morning. So today is a hiking day. Got all my hiking gear on and uh, we're going to head up Blackcomb, head up the gondola and explore some of the alpine trails. And we've never actually done alpine hiking up the mountain and the gondola actually just opens today. So we're going to head down, uh, I think get some breakfast first and then grab our tickets from the ticket office and then get up the mountain. So I've gone for porridge for breakfast and we ran into Robin at Portobello as well and the weather is absolutely beautiful so we're going to head up the mountain after we finish this. It's really hard to vlog with a mask on. Nobody's going to be able to hear you. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> so we're all masked up. 
to uh, get on the gondola. I actually thought it'd be really busy, um, but it's not too bad. It's day one of uh, opening for the lifts and for West of Blackcomb, but I'm sure it's getting a little bit busier, but it's not too bad right now, which is great. So. It's kind of annoying because only one of the trails is open, so we wanted to do the Decca Loop trail, but it's closed, which we didn't know, so that's kind of annoying. But this is the Alpine Loop trail, I think, and it's really, really stunning, and the views of Whistler are insane. How amazing is the weather as well? I know I keep talking about the weather, but we've had a bit of a shoddy summer, so this is amazing. Shoddy. shoddy. <laughs> You're gonna have to put a little shoddy. translation at the bottom for the Canadians. <laughs> What's the Canadian translation of shoddy? Like rubbish. No, they don't say rubbish. Uh, lame. 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 We had a lame summer weather-wise. There you go. That's your translation. <laughs> it means shit. Huh? It <laughs> means shit. <laughs> I had to do that the other day when I was talking about plasters. And no one had a clue what I was talking about. And they're called band-aids here, aren't they? So I, need to, I should do a blog post of like translations, should not I? Did not choose the appropriate footwear. It's so snowy. Oops. These views are really, really something else. It's so nice just to be outside and be able to be outside. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that um, we couldn't do the hike that we wanted. It's kind of annoying because tickets aren't, aren't cheap. The tickets are like $75 uh, each for the gondola. Um, but there's a sign at the top basically saying that there's only one trail open. Um, but I didn't see that sign at the bottom. So it's kind of expensive um, for one short trail. but you know what it's covid time so i think those kind of things are to be expected and hopefully they open up the trail later on because the trail that we wanted to do looked really really gorgeous um so maybe we can do it another time but it's still really beautiful and the views are really nice and it's not actually that busy at all so can't really complain Why? It's so beautiful and we're the only ones here. My favourite. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong So it's been a while since I last vlogged In this time I had a jacuzzi bath <laughs> <laughs> I had a nap Uh, what else did I do? Did some work watch some Netflix um, yeah I did when I was getting ready <laughs> and uh, now we've just been out for sunset so I think I last left it when we were on the mountain uh, so we were absolutely pooped when we got back to the room so yeah we just chilled for a little bit um, and kind of recuperated I only got like five hours sleep last night so I was a little bit tired so I had a quick quick little cat nap and then got ready and then we came out and just grabbed some cider and some snacks and just came and sat on the duck at Lost Lake for a bit but it's really really beautiful it's getting a bit a little bit windy and cold now but it's been a really really nice evening hasn't it? It has. Hubs. Yeah, it has. Hubs, hubs. I'm wearing my new uh, denim shirt that I got from Topshop the other day and I really like it it's like cowboy, cowgirl vibes, isn't it? Ah, oh, my hat's gonna go. Thanks. <laughs> the 
<laughs> so we're gonna walk back to the village, I think, I was back home, and maybe grab a little bit of food, even though it's so light, and um, it's like half past night and it's so light. And yeah, that's kind of it for this evening. Hello. <laughs> Everyone. Trying to take a picture and there's just bugs everywhere. Tell us about your life. About my life? Oh god, that's going to be... About your day. About a day. Okay. So you know a bit about our day already. So we went hiking today and it was really, very pretty. Uh, even though it was a very short trail, it was actually really nice. It was a bit annoying because we couldn't do the trail that we wanted to do. But you know, that's Covid travel it swings and roundabouts swings really and roundabouts really i mean you know i'm just happy and grateful that we get to go out and travel in bc so can't really complain and then had a glorious nap in my dressing gown and right now i'm very excited to go back to our hotel and get back in my dressing gown <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> um even though you hate dressing gowns don't you i'm not a fan he's not a fan of dressing gowns i think they're the best invention ever and i love them uh, and then we went down to the dock of the bay and the last lake. It's only like a 20 minute walk from Fairmont. And then now uh, we're just walking home. That's my day really. Thanks. <laughs> Is that okay? That's fine. Is that sufficient? That's sufficient. Cool. Are you having a good time there? <laughs> He said he can't bring it in, so he said you do it. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Room Service. What do we have here? We went for a margarita flatbread, the truffle fries, which are sensational, and some buffalo wings. And I got a tea, obviously. And it's like 11 o'clock. I don't know why we're having tea at this time, but never mind. Breakfast is served. Best work for an early lead in the race. Junior's first spot in four years. That's him exactly. Zero crap. Here you go. Tell me when. This isn't all for me, is it? No. You look really cute. <laughs> It's so rainy outside and so we decided to have a bit of a lion and get breakfast in bed and we've got to check out soon which I don't want to do because it's been so nice but now I'm going to tuck into this yummy yummy avo toast. The matching. Denim buddies! And I'm rocking double denim today. Going all out with the double dinner. So we've checked out of the hotel. Uh, we had a nice chill morning, had room service and breakfast in the room, so it's pouring it down. Um, and now it's just starting to clear up, so it's still raining a little bit, but it's clearing up, which is great. So we've just come down to Alpha Lake, which I've never been to. Um, so we're gonna have a little walk around, maybe go to one of the waterfalls in a bit, depending on the weather. But I see blue skies, so. Fingers crossed, it gets nice. I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. So we are making our way back to Vancouver. We stopped off at a few places today, but the weather's just been all over the place. It's literally like sunny one minute and then pouring it down the next minute. So we haven't had loads of luck, but we went to a place called Alexander Falls, which was a really nice waterfall up the Callahan Road. And then we went to Brandywine Falls, which was really nice too. So we have been outside a little bit today, but the weather's just like not great. But it's been a really nice couple of days and I've really, really enjoyed it. And it's been so nice just to get out and explore and travel again and get creative and it's been really really nice obviously with travel i think if you are going to be traveling 
locally obviously if it's allowed if you are going to be traveling just you have to just kind of manage your expectations a bit because it's the same but it's also a little bit different there's obviously lots of precautions in place everything takes so much longer and that's kind of one of my key takeaways from the last few days is everything takes twice as much time just because there's obviously distancing in place and there's lineups etc so kind of factor that in um the stay at the farm was so lovely we felt so safe they have loads and loads of measures in place but again like things with like the pool you have to book that with restaurants you have to make reservations because they have less capacity um they don't do like turn down service every day so there are a few things that are obviously different and i think you have to just be a bit more patient than you usually would be um, because everyone's kind of trying to figure it out. But I was impressed in Whistler uh, with Whistler Black Home because there was like lots and lots of precautions in place that like you have to wear a mask, you have lots of hand, hand, well, hand sanitizers and stuff. Um, obviously, because there's people coming from everywhere uh, that travel to Whistler, so that's probably why they've been a bit more vigilant. But yeah, I mean, if that's the price that we have to pay to be able to explore, then I absolutely don't mind. Um, but you just have to be a little bit more patient i think with it and not everything is the same not everything's open so make sure you do research uh as well so you're not disappointed but anyway it's been a lovely few days i'm really excited to travel to more places this summer anyway thank you so much for joining us i hope you've enjoyed this i will uh post a couple of blog posts from this trip and i might put a blog post together about the whole kind of um uh, travel experience with all the covid precautions in case you're wondering so i'll leave that in the description box down below but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye